PyWeb Reporter has a lot of useful tools for creating supporting documentation like bubble prints. What we can do is start by just opening up a blank report inside of PyWeb Reporter. We'll start by adding the print to our report by simply dragging and dropping an image into our report and loading that print. Then we'll attach our data provider, which in this case will be our quality database containing the inspection information for our bubbled print. So in this case, we'll choose our um, inspection plan, which contains the, the, number for, or the numbers for our drawing. And we can use either predefined numbers that are, uh, that are assigned in the database, or if you're currently labeling your inspection plans using the bubble number, we can also adapt to any sort of style of labeling as well, depending on what the requirements are for the customer. So how we start is grabbing the particular elements that we'd like to add to our report. In this case, we're going to add three true positions, a perpendicularity, and an angularity. We simply drag these elements into our report. Then we'll select a print bubble. And then it'll drag bubbles into our report. And we'll see that the numbers correspond to our naming in our database. So we'll just drag these in close to the appropriate characteristics on our print. The one benefit to using PyWeb to do this for you is that if we make changes in our inspection routine, any sort of print bubbling will be automatically updated the next time that we run our inspection plan. So any corresponding documentation, such as your AS9102, your inspection plan program, and your bubbled print will all be using the same numbering convention, making it much easier to make changes and maintain those changes in the, in the data stream.